uh, distribution grid to, to maintain that kind of uh, services. Thank you. The um, R Street Institute's response to uh, last week's DOE uh, notice of proposed rulemaking seems to agree with that sentiment. They say, and I quote, a resiliency initiative should prioritize mitigating transmission and distribution damage and accelerating restoration. Uh, Mr. Moore, R Street also suggests that DOE's proposal seeks to take emergency action on, at best, a low to medium level resiliency issue. Do you agree? I think that it is nowhere near the crisis that some parties have portrayed it to be. So yes, I generally agree that there are other things we can do like that transmission integration that would be go a lot further towards improving is, the resilience. Is DOE's of the proposed rule likely to raise costs to consumers without commensurate uh, resiliency benefits? Sure, as so far as I can tell, uh, because it's very hard to predict the, the full extent of the costs, but our initial calculations say that at least $15 billion a year just from the operating and maintenance cost reflected in the units that could be covered by the rule. That doesn't include the higher rates of return uh, and, and return on equity, excuse me, and other things, and the additional higher market prices. 